Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a car with automatic transmission and you need to find where the output speed sensor is located or input speed sensor is located, how to get to them, stay with us. We'll explain that in this video today. Now, one simple mistake people make with automatic transmission, stay with us until the end. We'll explain what it is that can actually destroy your transmission. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage guys, we take them completely apart, anything like engines, transmission, missions body interior and we make more than two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now uh, if you guys have a car and you need to buy any parts and tools for a good price and quick shipping save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here you can see guys this is automatic transmission six speed automatic transmission we drain the transmission fluid okay because we had to remove the oil pan that's where the gasket for the oil pan is as well that tends to fail on other vehicles also plastic oil pans can get deformed from all the heat as well this is the next part it sits right here on top this is known as a valve body that incorporates valve body and shifting solenoids those are the solenoids that shift different gears guys six speed transmission it has eight solenoids because each one of them does something so another thing okay what else okay what else we have here i want to show you how dirty that transmission fluid is most people think okay that you shouldn't change transmission fluid it's terrible you can see the contamination that black swirls that's actually guys clutch dust okay from right here and if you don't change the transmission fluid that clutch dust will start accumulating in the shifting solenoids it can accumulate in the valve body guys and eventually the transmission will start acting up now people say i changed transmission fluid and the transmission is acting up now let's explain why okay common uh, misconception here one they use the wrong type of fluid i recommend to use only original fluid you have a kia vehicle use a kia hyundai transmission fluid usually it's uh, by board by board manufacturers if you have a transmission uh, zf on bmw use a zf transmission fluid original one guys always go with the original stuff in my opinion based on our experience number two uh, <coughs> people will change the transmission fluid and not get the oil level correct it will be too low or too high that can um, mess up transmission as well number uh, number three guys will be uh, sometimes you need to change the transmission fluid up to three times why because the first time you drain the fluid out of the transmission you get about 50 to 60 percent but the rest guys is still in the torque converter in different compartments of the transmission so if you add fluid you drive it for another 100 miles and drain it again and do that two times two to three times you get probably about uh, 85 to 90 percent of the transmission fluid change that way you have fresh fluid because the first time you change it the clean fluid may knock some deposits loose okay because it will be lubricating and cleaning better and that can cause the transmission to act up now uh, where are the output speed sensor and input speed sensor often you will need to remove your valve body not always but often guys you will need to remove the valve body and if you look at it right here where the clutches are the drum and all that stuff right here you have two sensors this is known as the input speed sensor this is as the output speed sensor often you'll be able to replace just one of them however that transmission both of them go together so if one goes out you have to replace both you just remove the board at that point pull it out it's practically a magnetic sensor kind of like the one that you use on the on the crankshaft position sensor that detects how many times okay revolutions each shaft does the input and the output as well and it just connects right here so Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.